Anthony, you been here before? Three years ago. Okay, okay. I, I started I'm gonna, over. I'm going to talk to you. Yes. Do me a favor, though. That light, try to turn to it. Oh, face okay. it. Because it's giving you backlight. That's... Okay, that's better. Man, I'm good. All right, I'm how good. you doing? How you doing? Go a little bit more. Go a little bit more. There you go. There you go. All right, there you go. Anthony, yeah, last time you was here, they, they were saying you don't want no black me, women. Man. <laughs> they lying on me. Let's get into it. I know yeah. a couple things. Are you still in Chicago? Okay, how old are you? You look amazing. That's what I was going to say. He looks amazing for his age, 51. You yeah. are a cancer survivor. Okay. All right. They're telling me it's lagging, so I'm going to set us up right. So just wait seven seconds. So it's Anthony Chicago, 51. He's a cancer survivor. What do you I'm do for a living? I work in the trade and collections department at this um, place in Oak Brook. Uh, credit and collections department. Um, what's your first day of Zodiac sign? Don't forget, wait seven seconds before you answer. Okay. So Anthony Chicago, 51 years old. Um, he's a cancer survivor. Um, he works in a credit department, credit repair department. He's a Pisces. Do you have any kids? Yes, I have two boys. I have a seven-year-old and a 31-year-old. And a 31-year-old, wow. Um, yeah. Different women, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. We're not going to go into that. We passed that. So what kind of woman um, are you looking for? Seven seconds. Um, go. I, I'm really just looking for a, a woman that's good with herself. Um, she could she don't, she don't, have been through some things, and she might not be healed yet, but as long as she's healing, as long as she's healing. A lot of people get that confused. They'd be like, oh, she's not healed yet. But once you get hurt, you really never stop healing. So as long as she's making progress and healing, uh, she's not lazy, she's independent, um, not dependent. She, um, I like a pretty face, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm in shape, so I don't mind her being in shape, but I wouldn't trip if she wasn't in shape shape, but she has to be, you know, decent. Okay. Um, does she have to um, make a certain amount of money? Like 80, 70 or 80,000. That's decent. 70, 80? Oh, no. He don't want no broke girl. No. Um, what's some deal breakers for you, Anthony? Seven seconds. Um, if she has kids, if she's a bad parent, um, if you're a bad parent, I, I, I can't mess with you at all. So, like, that's the first deal break. If you're a bad parent, if you ever put me before your kid, if I you put anybody before your kid, that's a deal breaker. Um, bad hygiene. Um, I, don't, I don't really like wigs. I really don't like wigs. I mean, they cute, you know, and everything. But, again, that's my preference. I really don't like wigs and weaves. Um, I don't like fupas. I re like, uh, I really don't like poopers, and I, you know, I get it. And, and it's just, again, you ask me my preference, so I just want to be real, you know, truthful with everything, you know. Um, somebody who's willing to try certain, you know, a lot of different things. I want her to be spontaneous, but also the type of person who thinks before they make decisions also. Um, I don't know, just somebody with empathy, somebody who care about others, who will do something for somebody and not expect anything in return. That's it. Okay. Um, let's do the kids or kids. <laughs> let's see. Fifty-one years old. Are oh, you I a vegan? Oh, I gotta get a little off. bus off. I'm gonna mind off too. Um, I don't Are eat beef and pork, but I do eat like um, I eat chicken and seafood. You eat chicken and seafood, okay. Um, so when was your 
your last relationship, Anthony? Seven seconds. <laughs> five years ago. Okay, five years ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. Uh, when was the last time you was intimate with someone? About a month and a half. <laughs> Is she an option? No. Why not? Um, Why not? She's just my friend. She just, she just cool. That's it. Now, she, she understands me more? and what I want. I'm very transparent, so I want, I want, you know, sleep with somebody with the intentions that I was that man or I was going to be that man. They would know that already. Uh, okay. So why do you think you're uh, single, um, Anthony? <laughs> Wait for a second. Um, I think I'm single because, um, I wasn't ready to be in a relationship. I was, um, I had to learn how to love myself first. So I had to go through a period of time where I had to heal, where I had to learn to love my um, love myself and take accountability for what I did to mess up relationships. You know, when we're in relationships, you can point out what the other person did. Yeah, we know they did it. We know they did it. But we have to look at what we did. And I wasn't, you know, I didn't know how to love somebody else. So I finally just learned how to love myself. So, you know, I'm at the point where I think I, I know how to love somebody now. Okay. Um, what's the age range you would date? Because you're 51, so I'm just curious. What's the age range you would date? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm that dude, like, I go on vibes more than I go on age, more than I go on a lot of things. So it's, it's, it depends on the vibe. And, you know, some people will be like, well, your son is 31, so, you know, you got to put that into consideration. I don't want to be bumping heads with him and things of that nature. But my son's mother is 32, so I would probably say like like 35 to like 46. I really don't, like, my age, is, it, it's going to be hard for them to keep up with me. Okay. So and to be clear, he has two children's moms. So you have a son that's 32, and then your seven-year-old's mom. No, she got to be by a year. <laughs> she 30. Yeah. So they're a year apart. Your yeah. son and your other baby mom is a year apart. How is that? I mean, How did that um, work out? she wasn't. I mean, my son was already old enough, so it's not like I needed her to be a, a mom to my son or anything of that nature. So that relationship, um, just based off of them, you know, it's not based off like a, you know, like she was gonna be a stepmother or anything of that nature. So they just, you know, however they go. Okay. Yeah, they're trying to figure out. He has a thirty-one-year-old son and a seven-year-old son, right? Two boys, correct? And, he, and it's two, by two different women. So the woman that is the mom of the seven-year-old is the woman that's 32. Just so, because they're like, how can your son be 31 I mean, and the mom 32? Um, we got to just get like, the backstory. I know a lot of people have an opinion and things of that nature, but I mean, people pick and choose when it's a problem. You know, uh, you know, people, oh, that's a red flag. That's a red flag, this and that. I mean, I know women that's older than me that act like they're two years old, can't pay their bills and still living at home with their mother and living from check to check. And don't have any type of investments going. If they die today, they have, have to have a GoFundMe or sell plates to have a funeral. Then I know women that's 30 years old. They they own their investments. They have property. They don't, they pay their bills on time. They walk around here with a 750 credit score. They take good care of their kids. So a lot of times we put age on things, but it's it's a maturity level. There's a lot of people in these comments that's oh, that's my age, but they immature. So that don't mean just because you're older that that makes you mature. So a lot of grown men walking around. Like me, I just told you, I had to learn to love myself when you asked me why I was single. I was still doing boyish things. I was still doing a lot of things at 47 years old, at 48, you know, years old, things of that nature. So, you know, it is what it is. Okay. <laughs> Talk your shit, Anthony. I do. Do you want to settle do. down? I do. That's what I mean. That's, 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 that's what I'm waiting on. That's, that's what I'm okay. hoping to do. You know, so, I mean, I, I date with the intentions of getting married. I've never been married. Oh, I'm getting married. You've never been married. All right, so um, wait to answer seven seconds. Why would a woman be lucky to be with you? Um, to be honest, a woman would be lucky to be with me because, like, I've been that hoe already. I've been through, like, my an extreme hoe phase, so I know what it is. Um, I don't have any curiosities, so... A lot of times you want to be with a guy who's over it. He's been through it. You know, I, I don't feel the need to have multiple women anymore. I don't feel like sex um, fulfills anything for me anymore. So, you know, I think I'm more level-headed now. 
And um, I, I know exactly what I want. I um, think I have a good heart. Again, I'm transparent. I'm a good father. And um, take care of myself. I take care of my woman to a certain extent, you know. And um, that's why. So let, let me ask you this, because you was here before. So oh, what I, was I, the I, response I, that two man years response. ago? It, it, a lot of response. It just wasn't the responses that I wanted. Okay, fair enough. All right, so let's see if we can get you a better, a better certain amount of the pool this time. Oh, does the woman have to be in Chicago? Wait for um, a second. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, I mean, if you want to have fun, if I'm just having fun with somebody, yeah, they don't have to be in Chicago. But if I want to get serious with somebody, yeah, they would have to be in Chicago. I mean, I, I can't be gone, like, extended okay. periods. I have a seven-year-old, so I don't, my son lives with me. So I don't, like, yeah, my seven-year-old son, son lives, lives with me. So with you. I don't, I'm not. We'll be leaving every other okay. day and every other so, weekend to go out of town. Fair enough. So fun time girls could be outside of Chicago, but if you're serious, maybe you start outside of Chicago, but if it got serious, she would have to eventually relocate. To no, Chicago. I'm not even going to let it get serious. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not going to relocate with my son and to get her to relocate. I wouldn't even ask somebody to relocate to Chicago. To Chicago. But my show was this National, you could meet an awesome woman in Houston. You would have let her relocate to Chicago. Oh, yeah, I would let her relocate. But, like for me trying to relocate with a seven-year-old son, it'd be real hard. That's all. No, no, I said that. I said she would have to relocate to Chicago if it got serious. If you meet a person that's not in Chicago, because basically you're not leaving Chicago. This one comment. I usually don't answer the comments. He said, "Why does my son live with me? Why wouldn't my son live with me? He's a male. I'm a male." His mother can't teach him how to be a man. She could teach him how to be a good person, but she can't teach him how to be a man. And he's seven years old. Why wouldn't he live with me? I love him. That's why he lives with me. I want you to say it again because we have a lag at times. So he wants to respond to a comment. Somebody in the comment, get the light better. Um, get the light. Get your light better, Anthony. Um, somebody in the comment said, <laughs> why does his son live with him? And I want to make sure your response is clear. So seven no, seconds. I said, why wouldn't my son live with me? He's a son, and um, he's a male. I'm a male. His mother can't teach him how to be a man. That's my job. I feel that's my responsibility. And I said, I love him. So why wouldn't he live with me? Why is it the responsibility that the kid lives with their mom? I guess he told you whoever asked that question. I guess he told you. All right, Anthony, you did pretty good tonight, baby. Um, give them your IG. Hello? What's your IG, Anthony? Um, Give them the Anthony Lindsay. My name. The, the Anthony Lindsay. The Anthony Lindsay. T-H-E-A-N-T-H-O-N-Y-L-I-N-D-S-E-Y. The Anthony Lindsay. All right. And I'm, All right, I get baby. Back to well, you can post to how it goes. Good catching up with you. Nothing. The way y'all roasted me in here, boy. <laughs> I like it, though. Well, you want to respond to any more comments? No, 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 no. I do the same thing. When I'm in there, so I, I, I'm okay with it. I can't dish. If I can dish it out, I got to be able to take it. Somebody said, you better not lay that head on that white couch. <laughs> okay. So, now, this is a compliment. Someone called you Tyson Beckford's Beckford, Beckford <laughs> cousin. I got that plenty of times. I got that. I can see that now that they said it. Someone said, you fine as hell. You fine as hell. 51, you look great for thank 51. You, you. That's very impressive. Yes, sir. All right. So you keep me possible. Bye, Anthony.